Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to replay, or rather, play for the first time, and replay at the same time, Winter Coat. This is just a stylistic update to Winter Boots. The puzzle has not been changed. Check out the original map here. Yes, so, the original map was by Alpha and Alpha Melon, and this is an updated version, uh, with the same puzzle, I'm told. So, let's get started. I'm not sure why they wanted me to play the same puzzle again. But I guess they wanted to see it in the new style. I think I actually like the old style better, but this is this is a neat style. I like the old one better though. <laughs> like it doesn't fit this map, I don't think. I guess it's wintry because it's blue. Ooh, blue lighting. I guess it's to show off new B mod stuff. Ah, eh, whatever. I think this is aperture tag music, right? Yeah. All right. So what am I doing here exactly? Well, I think for starters, we should do the needful and hop across here. There we go. Oh, that- that cube picked up in a weird way, didn't it? We can do that. That opens that upper one up. There we go. So now what? Oh. I have memories flooding back now. Yes. Memories indeed. Like, this is- this is... Isn't this kind of trivial? I think this first one is just the introductory room, right? Yeah, this one makes it easy to get up here. Ha! <laughs> I landed on that, interesting. So then we respawn the cube and head back down, right? Seems to be to me that that is it. I think the next room is the one that really gets crazy. Yeah, I can't remember if there was a third room, but I think it's this one. Yeah. So much blue light. <laughs> this is gonna keep you up at night. If you're watching this late at night, I'm so sorry, but you're not gonna be able to fall asleep for another hour at least. Hmm. There's our exit condition. Ooh, a pink companion cube. Right, well, let's just do the obvious, I suppose. Yeah, I guess this over here plain and simple. Yeah, I remember this stuff. That's- that's familiar. Alright. Like, I remember the layout of the original map in my head, but I don't remember the puzzle very well. They really deviated. But I can definitely remember the exact layout of the original map. This is really different. Hmm. So we can get over here now. How do we get- how do we get you, sir? You, madam. You, madam, sir. Can we get back up top? Yes, so we can. Alright, so we can just respawn the cube onto this button, right? I believe so. Come on. There we go. Then I think we can shoot at the funnel through this hole, right? Yes. How do we spawn that cube, though? Right, with that button. Ooh. Okay, so how do we actually... Hmm. Why did I do it this way? Why- Why did I pick the worst way to do this? I don't need to use this hole yet. What am I- What am I, stupid? Let's see, let's put this up top. There we go. And Geronimo. here to undo that, though. Hmm. Yeah, I hadn't considered that, honestly. Yeah, right, I remember now. I remember now. 
Let's try this again, perhaps. Sure, that's already in position. Wait a moment. Right, I think I just fizzled the cube, right? How do I get in there, though? I think I don't... maybe don't... maybe don't need to? No, I definitely need to. How do I get back over here, though? That's the problem. Like, there's a couple different ways I can do this. Cause that lines up with the button. I can stand on this button, and select the cube in that way, or I can just respawn the cube into the funnel. issue is... I need to be able to get back out, and keep a portal in here. Interesting. I would've thought I'd be able to go through the hole. It certainly goes through other things, I guess it's a bit larger, still. Still! Right, well, let's just do this for now. Yep, that does exactly what I thought it would. Wait, am I not able to do that? Do I have to do it this way? Where's the cube? Does the cube not auto respawn? Well, crap. Cube does not auto respawn. That throws a wrench in the works. What am I doing? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> I need to get the cube. What am I doing? I'm so tired, I played- I played a Walt Disney map, and I am just exhausted. It took me 40 minutes. I'm sure you know which one I'm talking about. Assuming I didn't reorder the videos. <sighs> right, there's that. Here and do this. Put it on here. Maybe we funnel it from here. I think that might be the key. How do I do that, though? No, I can't do that. Get over there if I do that. Yeah. So if I place this first, then I stand on the button. That's at least better, quote unquote. But then what? I guess... I guess we go in through down here, right? Yeah, that's the only thing that makes sense. Then we do this, and then we can jump back out, right? Yeah. So far, so good. Now we can get this one. Is it purple or pink? It's got a purple rim, but... a pink... pink rim here. Oh, it autocorrects, I forgot about that. Yeah, nice. So... Now I think we just do stuff again, roughly. But now, with the ad added benefit of having two cubes, instead of one. Or as Kong Clan would call it, true cubes. Actually, there's only one true cube. And... 
Geronimo. So let's put this here, and see how this helps us, if any. The exit's just open, so... it doesn't really matter too much. Do need to respawn that guy. Let's go work on that. I don't think it matters too much which cube we put where now. Let's put this here. I wonder... I think we can do that now. Yeah, there we go. Simple. And just hit me while I get started. I seem to remember that... that it started off simple and got hard in the original, now it started off hard and got simple. Huh. Well, anyway... I do like the aesthetics of the remake. I think I'm just too used to the original, though. For some reason I've seen so many places of the original that I'm just too used to it. This is a cool aesthetic. I like the original more. Anyway. As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye! Why do I like the original more? Huh. Oh well.